It is May 18th, 2021. My name is Christopher May. I'm here to talk to you about my dissected cow eye. So at the beginning, we're going to talk about the uh, cornea. So the cornea is the outer layer of, uh, trans of tr transparent tissue that um, protects the eye um, and allows light to flow in. And then here you see the, the pigmented part here, you see the iris. So the iris um, depended on uh, the amount of light that's that, that's uh, that, that's given, uh, it can contract and it can dilate um, with, with with the muscles um, with, with the intrinsic muscles. Um, the area inside of the, the negative space inside of the iris is the pupil. Um, so again, the pupil can be dilated. So if there's um, if, if, if there's uh, not a lot of light, it dilates to um, allow more light in. And if there's too much light, it uh, constricts. Um, and de decreasing the size of the pupil. Um, right here is the sclera, this white uh, tissue right here. So the, uh, the sclera, what it does is it helps provide um, oxygen, um, nerve endings, um, blood, um, blood cells, or um, blood vessels to help um, give the eye um, nutrients, um, oxygen, and dispose of waste. Um, it's also a very firm figure um, it helps uh, maintain shape to the eye. So inside the eye here, there's the aqueous layer. Um, so the aqueous layer is, um, it has an, an, an aqueous humor and that provides um, nutrients um, and transports oxygen and uh, oxygen to the eye and waste away from the eye. So this um, aqueous layer is more like cerebral spinal fluid, but um, yeah, it helps with so with shock absorption as well. Um, and then further on, for, for deep, deep to the eye, you have the uh, lens. So this lens, uh, it's hard right now, but normally it's uh, squishier. Um, so with the lens, depending on how, um, how how you alter its shape, so if you flatten it out, you get to see um, images from longer. Um, distances, and if you um, make it more circular, uh, you focus on more uh, on more uh, nearer objects. Um, so the lens is basically what uh, gives us perspective and helps us uh, see in, in certain distances. Um, and then deep to that, well, here's the retina. <laughs> the, the retina is out, unfortunately, of my uh, eye. So that has a lot of photoreceptors um, that. Uh, in the pigmented layer, um, that's something that uh, allows you to um, uh, take in light. And then in the neural layer, uh, it helps you see color um, through uh, rods and cones. Um, uh, the, the, the cones will help you see color and the rods will um, help you evaluate the difference between what's light and what's dark. Um, so all of this, this is the posterior part of the eye. Um, so here's the, uh, so th that's where the retina, uh, th that's the insertion site for the retina. Um, the retina is a very, uh, neural, um, ne ne a neural body. Um, so all the retina, all the, um, rods and cones, their, their activation, all that information goes, uh, to the optic nerve right here, um, at the back. So this is, um, this is uh, cranial nerve two, so um, basically the information from, taken in from the retina, it sends it to the opposite um, brain, 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 brain hemisphere, the, the opt optic chasm. And then uh, here is the uh, choroid. Um, the choroid is the darker tissue. Um, it helps uh, replenish and provide nutrients for the uh, retinal, for, for, for the retinal uh, tissue, um, helps it transport oxygen. Um, it gives it um, blood, um, etc. And then, last but not least, uh, the uh, the uh, posterior um, cavity. That's where there's a gelatinous fluid called um, the vitreous humor. So this helps maintain the shape. Um, I don't have it on hand because it kind of spilled out, and I can't really show it to you. But um, it's something that helps the eye maintain shape as well as uh, gives it nutrients. Um, thank you. Hope you enjoyed.